Hello internet world, welcome to my review of the D-Link G403 Eagle Pro AI N300 4G Smart Router. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer, no money's change hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular, I'm purely sharing with you my opinion of this product so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's start off with a look at the box and the box contents and then we come on to how this performs and why you might be interested in a product like this. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the G403. It's a 4G Wi-Fi router. On the front of the box here, it says mobility, reliability, connectivity, and security. If we take a look on the side of the box, we've got AI Wi-Fi optimizer. So it's a really good technology that optimizes uh, the channel that you're using for Wi-Fi. We've also got bi-directional failover, so dual WAN uh, provides redundancy, so you've got minimal disruption in your connection. We also have got voice assistance as well. If we take a look around on the back, we've got some of the main features. So this supports the 4G LTE Cat 4 for speeds up to 150 megabits per second. We've also got an Eagle Pro AI app to aid with setting this up and managing your system. Really good reliability and WPA3 security uh, with WPS support. So why would you use a product like this? Well, if you're in an area where you can't get good broadband or internet connectivity, but you've got a decent sort of a signal when it comes to 4G connectivity, then you can pop your own SIM card in this and you can distribute that internet between more than one device. So that's why you'd use something like this if you've got less than ideal broadband services in your area. Now inside the box, we do get a quick start guide and we also get some extra information inside the box regarding warranty, for example. We also get an ethernet cable. We also get a SIM card tray now this uses a mini SIM card only. In fact, on the back of the device, there is this sticker when you first unpack it saying mini SIM card only or use SIM tray. So if you've got a different size SIM card, like a micro, for example, then you use this included little plastic tray to convert it to the appropriate size. We also get a power adapter. It's a barrel type connector on this end. And then you get a country specific version inside your box. This one happens to be a three pin UK power adapter. If you're buying this in another country, you'll get a country specific one supplied. And then of course, you get the G403 itself. Really liking the white color, gloss finish, looks really designery. Very, very nice design to this. I do like it a lot. We've got the four antennas they come pre-installed you don't have to install them and these of course can be angled to get your sort of optimum signal range for the devices in your house and then across the front we've got the wps button and then we've got various activity lights and a reset uh, switch as well there's also a signal strength uh, little indicator there on the front and then around the back we have got the SIM card slot. So you don't get a SIM card supplied, you have to provide your own of course. And then we've got four gigabit ethernet ports and a WAN port as well. And then we've got the input for the power supply and the main power on off button. Now setting this up proved to be very, very easy using the D-Link app. And once it was up and running, I found that although I'm in a less than optimal 4G signal area, I was still able to distribute that 4G signal between some wired devices and also connect wirelessly as well. Now, assuming I didn't have home broadband, a device like this allows me to connect those multiple devices wirelessly to this and then in turn be able to do things like browse the internet and it worked at a really good speed. Now I mentioned I'm in a less than optimal signal area, so I could try another uh, service provider for the 4G card I was using. Uh, if you're in a good signal area, then this is gonna really serve you well. It's a nice neat box, very, very easy to set up as I said earlier, and the speeds that are attainable if you've got a good signal are really very, very good indeed. Can I recommend it? 
certainly can. If you're looking for a 4G router, this is definitely worth checking out. It's packed full of features and works extremely well. Now, if you want to pick up one of these for yourself, then please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.